assalamu alaikum students <coughs> today i will discuss literary terms satire sarcasm and irony purpose of satire difference in satire and sarcasm and types of irony satire is a literary term which is also present in graphics and performing arts the word satire was used by ancient roman critics and writers it's a form of constructive criticism aimed at ridiculing those whom it is directed to its purpose is to imply humor to instigate people towards positive change it uses exaggeration alliteration taunt pun farce and mockery in showing follies abuses and shortcomings that are common to people it's a coming way of embarrassing people so that they are encouraged to make improvements in their lives Uh, here are some examples of satire from literature uh, chaucer satirizes cultural norms in the canterbury tales using humor to point out significant problems in medieval english culture for example his exaggerated praise of the monk as extremely fine contrasts amusingly with the lengthy description of the monk's horses greyhounds and hunting Uh, clearly the monk has uh, entered his professions without taking it seriously and with no intention of following its norms and this coming portrayal of a monk who is more interested in hunting and doesn't see the point of devotion to god is chaucer's way of satirizing the figure of the monk in his period Jonathan Swift was a political essayist and satirist who often used dark humor to convey political points. One example of satire against the English society in Gulliver's Travels is the political affairs of the Lilliputians. The Lilliputians to gain a high ranking office competed for them by dancing on a rope for the entertainment of the emperor. The rope dancing is a direct shot at England's uh, election system comparing it to doing uh, ridiculous activities that have nothing to do with politics. Jonathan Swift also satirized the English parliament directly by modeling Flimnap, a Lilliputian polit- politician after England's first prime minister Robert Wall. Sarcasm on the other hand is a remark or taunt which is more painful and nasty. Uh, sarcasm uses irony and mockery but unlike satire it is done more roughly and brazenly. It may also be indirectly aimed at any individual uh, through the use of indirect statements. Sarcasm may not be noticeable in print because it is often exhibited through vocal inflection. A sarcastic statement is noticeable only through the tone of voice of the person saying it but it can also be a direct statement containing harsh words while satire is constructive sarcasm can be destructive although both are aimed at mocki- uh, making people see their mistakes through wit and humor sarcasm can be rude and it borders on bullying whereas satire is more subtle and light so the person to whom it is aimed at doesn't feel offended uh, here you can find uh, some examples of sarcasm uh, when uh, something bad happens uh, usually uh, one can say oh this is exactly what i needed today and when someone is doing something too slowly uh, one can say uh, could you please do that more slowly uh, when something is uninteresting uh, happens uh one can also say i am delighted that i get to be here for the next 3 hours irony is exactly opposite of that what is actually said it is used to convey a meaning that is the opposite of its literal meaning and there are three types of irony situational irony dramatic irony and verbal irony Situational irony is a device that goes beyond the literal meaning of words and uh, it's a technique in which an expected outcome doesn't happen or its opposite happens instead it takes place when the opposite of what is expected actually happens uh, as a figurative language situational irony allows writers to show the character's intentions versus the outcomes and appearances versus reality The greatest example of situational irony occurs uh, in the play uh, Oedipus uh, 
uh, where he uh, tries to avoid the prophecy that he will kill his father and marry his mother in his attempts to avoid the prophecy leads to him killing his father and marrying his mother and dramatic irony happens when the audience is aware of the information that the characters are not the most example uh, famous example of situational irony is the tragic scene uh, oh, where the two lovers uh, death in the play romeo and juliet uh, romeo believes uh, juliet who is simply drugged has killed herself so he kills himself as well and uh, he says i still will stay with thee and never from this place of dim night depart again here here will i remain with worms that that are thy chamber mates when she wakes and uh, finds him dead beside her she too takes her own life it's the opposite of what was supposed to happen and it's also ironic that many people think of this story as being romantic whereas it's actually a tragedy a verbal irony is when someone says one thing but means another uh, looking at children's messy room a mother can say wow you could win an award for cleanliness um here is an other example from literature um, in the novel pride and prejudice uh, darcy says she is tolerable but not handsome enough to tempt me in this example we relish the ironic flavor of darcy's statement as we later find uh, later find out that the woman he found unsuitable to dance with ends up taking uh, taking place in his heart Thank you.